Is there a problem, though, at, at, at Disney Animation? Has the loss of John Lasseter years ago, well, for example, been a blow that you haven't been able to recover from? Well, first of all, there's a, there, the, the, the studio and its movie assets are number one at the global box office this year so far. Um, that said, we're extremely realistic, and I'm very objective about that business, and there have been some disappointments. We would have liked some of our more recent releases to have performed better. Uh, it's reflective, for, not as a problem from a personnel perspective, but I think in our, in our zeal to basically grow our content significantly to serve our, uh, mostly our streaming offerings, we ended up uh, taxing our people way beyond, in terms of their time and their focus, way beyond where they had been. Marvel's a great example of that. They had not been in the TV business at any significant level. Not only did they increase their movie output, but they ended up making a number of television series. And frankly, it diluted focus and attention. And I think you're seeing that is, I think, more the cause than anything else. And, and Pixar, um, I mean, We've talked through the years. There was a time when a Pixar opening was a was a real event. Did it suffer as a result of during COVID when you were going direct to consumer? For example, I think it was Red or one of the. Yes, yeah, there were three. Went. There were three Pixar releases in a row that went direct to streaming, in part because of mostly because of COVID. And I think that, you know, may have created an expectation in the audience that the, they're going to eventually be on streaming and probably quickly. And there wasn't an urgency. And then I think there was some. I think you'd have to agree that there were some creative misses as well. Um, well how do you I, look at, I look at the, the company is 100 years old. Walt Disney went into the animation business starting with you know, shorts in the 1920s and obviously his big first feature with Snow White in 1937. If you look at, look at his history, there were peaks and there were valleys. Uh, every valley was followed by a peak. And I've, I studied it very carefully. It's true in my predecessor, Michael Eisner's days, too. He had great halcyon days of Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid and Lion King and just this tremendous success. And, and then there's a dip. I'm not suggesting we're necessarily in that, but I'm also not suggesting that we're at a peak either, that we have some work to do there in terms of improving our creative our creative output. Did the loss of Lasseter, was it a blow to the company over time? Look, there's a lot of talent at Pixar. There has been turnover as well, not just John, but there's been other turnover, too. And that may have had some impact. But you're confident that the production of Pixar animation, for example, and the Disney studio overall is going to, to continue to be strong. Correct. Marvel and Star Wars, too much. I mean, you almost indicated kind of it's, it's been a little much. Do you pull back in a way? Is yes. It, you do? Yeah. Yeah, you pull back not just to focus, but it's also part of our cost containment initiative. You know, right. Spending less, making, spending less on what we make and making less. Now, of course, it used to be that some of that stuff would then go to Netflix and you'd make a lot of money from selling it in different distribution channels. Now it all just goes to, to Disney+. Plus. Do you ever think about how well, much money you We shouldn't have done make? that? Not, not that you shouldn't have done <coughs> it, but that there's still... I mean, the old model worked pretty well. It's kind of interesting because I think if we did... Well, the old model worked when it was a blend of basically business models. It wasn't the only model. The licensing model was part of a, a collection of models. I think if we hadn't done it everyone would be saying, why isn't Disney going to the streaming business? You know, and as it turns out, I think we made the right decision there to go into that business. It will be a growth business for us. We will turn it around. I'm confident of that. It will become profitable, and it will deliver growth for the company. And it will be an important business because that direct-to-consumer model where you have a relationship with your consumers, which we lack, frankly, as a company, except in our parks and resorts business, that will be of value to us long term.